whether you have a uh, LX570 like we've got here, or Land Cruiser, Forerunner, Sequoia, Tundra, gosh, Camry, Corolla, Prius, whatever it is, you can use the same exact process to program your key fobs. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be programming a new key, new key fob remote for our 2017 Lexus LX570. Let me show you what I'm going to be using here. So I've got a Windows laptop. I've got a VX Diag VXC Nano. I'll put the link down in the description for this. This is what's going to allow you to connect the Toyota TechStream software off of your laptop um, to your OBD2 port on your vehicle, and then a USB connection on the other end to connect to your laptop. I've got my existing key fob that is already programmed and working with the uh, vehicle, and I've got one of these fancy Lexus credit card key fob. I bought this on eBay. It is an unlocked used one. You can find them on eBay all the time. Uh, you can sometimes get them on Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description for this as well. Uh, I opted to get one that also came with, let me see if I can get it out here. There it is. Came with an uncut key blank. There's that. So I'll want to take this uh, to locksmith to get cut for the vehicle. Um, and that way it's always there in case of emergency. And then once this is programmed, I'm just going to leave them in my wallet like a credit card. But um, it'll act like a key. No buttons on it, obviously, so you don't have physical buttons. But you just walk up to the car, it unlocks. You walk uh, out of the car, you touch the little door sensor, and it'll lock. So that's all I'm going to need. And then this will stay in the house as a spare key. The same process that I'm about to describe on the video can be used to program any new key fob. So if you want a replacement key fob, you get another one of these used or just buy a new one on Amazon. I'll put links down in the description for good places to buy them cheap. You can use the same exact process to uh, program your new key fob. Now keep in mind, Lexus and Toyota both use TechStream. So technically you can use the same process on just about any Toyota or Lexus. Whether you have a uh, LX570 like we've got here, or Land Cruiser, Forerunner, Sequoia, Tundra, gosh, Camry, Corolla, Prius, whatever it is, you can use the same exact process to program your key fobs and probably do a lot of other cool things in TechStream if you get it set up. The only thing you really need to purchase uh, to connect to TechStream is one of these VX Diag boxes, and they're very inexpensive. Uh, I'll put the link down in the description. And then the TechStream software itself, I'm not gonna put links in the video or a setup process step-by-step step, uh, because I don't wanna get the video flagged, but there are several sites where you can download the TechStream software, install it on your laptop, and then uh, a essentially a, a patch that circumvents the registration process so that you can run it on your own personal vehicle. If you've got a shop or something like that, pay the money for the subscription to TIS, the subscription you want, so that you can get TechStream, the officially licensed version of it, on a shop laptop. I'm just using it on our Lexus um, to program this new key fob, and then I'm also going to go through and uh, show you another video soon on how to use TechStream to adjust some of the settings for your AHC, if you do have an LX570, that's the height control, um, and also to measure the pressures on HC. And then you can also change a lot of the settings, like do the mirrors fold in automatically, or what happens when you get out of the car, or the lighting features. Um, you know, the, everything that is adjustable on the vehicle via the computer, you can adjust with TechStream. So that's that. Let's get started. We're in the truck. And I've got my VX Diag down there plugged into the OBD2 port. I've got my uh, USB cable going from that to my laptop. And I'm about to kick off TechStream. Before you start up TechStream, just hit your start button twice to get all your lights to light up, check engine light and everything. But don't start the truck. You just want it like this so that all the computers are on. Uh, when you first get into tech stream you want to select what kind of vehicle you have we got radar crews on this one front recognition camera all right now we hit next and it will take us into the main interface 
There we go, that sometimes takes a minute. Now we want to go to body electrical. You want to go to smart access. You might have like a um, smart key or something like that in here as well. Then click on utility here on the left. I had already done that, so it's on the screen. And we want to do a smart code registration. Essentially register a new key. Double click on that. I'm gonna read through these for you real quick. Turn the engine power switch on. Engine off, ready off. So right now we're on and engine is off. Do not carry any device which may generate electric waves such as cell phone into the vehicle. I have a cell phone in my hand. Let's see if it works with it in my hand. Uh, be aware that each step must be performed within a specified specified amount of time. Do not carry two or more keys into the vehicle. This may cause the function to fail. So you want to click check on all of these. You have to check the boxes so it knows that you read all of them. You hit next. So what this means is you have four available spaces for new codes. And you've got three that are already registered. All we need is one available space. We've got four, so that's fine. I'm going to hit next. It's gonna give you a couple of steps. Separate the two types of keys, your old key and your new key, right? Place a registered key into the vehicle. So I'm gonna take this key that's registered and I'm gonna put it right over here. And we're gonna take this one right here and we're going to place it a foot or more away from the vehicle so i'm just going to place it outside so i got my helper right there with that key go ahead and step a couple feet away from the truck all right so he's doing that we're going to hit next now it's telling me to touch engine switch with a registered key so i'm going to take my key that's already registered i'm going to bring it up here Try that again. All right, that beeped. And now we've got 15 seconds left to use the other key. Here, take this one, step outside the truck. And we're gonna take the new key and bring it up to the start button. And it beeped twice. Key code registration's complete. Awesome, so hit next. Now we've got only three spaces left. Hit next. Oh, that's good. So, exit. Yes, we'll exit. All right. So now we've got both of our keys registered, and now we're back in the main screen. So that's it. Let's go test our keys. So I've got both keys in my hand. What I'm going to do is... All right. I'm going to put them nice and far away. Let's see if this one works. Okay, that one works. I'm going to lock it. Now, I'm going to take this key, obviously no buttons, but I'm going to walk up and see if it unlocks the door. It's just a proximity key. Yep. And awesome. Well, there you go. Now we've got our registered little credit card key fob. That's going to go in my wallet. That way I never forget my wallet <laughs> if I'm going for a drive. And I never lose my key because it's always going to be in my wallet. There you go. Pretty simple to register a new key fob. And if you really want one of these guys, I'll put the links down in the description. You can get your own as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And I'm always happy to help. Until next time, God bless. Love you guys. See you later.